what's up what's up my fellow creators welcome guys i hope you're having a beautifully phenomenally blessed day thank you for joining me for a moment with yours truly and here we are today with another prophetic message so <clears throat> i have two that i'm going to go over so if this one's not resonating with you then make sure that you do check out the other one um they are again two completely different subjects two completely different situations however definitely necessary in passing on the message so in the first one that i had okay so this could be somebody that you're traveling to but this is a family member or a friend so again somebody very close to you and this person that's very close to you is uh like i want to say bougie but they're they're more than that like this person is just they're flat out greedy uh, something of significance here is trains. Trains mean something either to you or to this person. And the thing is, is that this person has placed value on material things above all else, above your guys' relationship, above their relationship with the closest people in their lives, above their friends, above anybody in their life. They have placed value on material items. And that is all they care about. And it's also, there's this energy of keeping up with the Joneses. So this is a person who, no matter what's going on, they have to buy the brand new thing. They have to get the newest thing. They have to get this. They have to get that. They have to get that. And they will actually put themselves into a place of jeopardy because they are constantly trying to keep up with the Joneses. They are constantly trying to appear a certain way and uh, withhold a certain status right and the thing is is that this person is only doing this to fulfill an emotional ego disconnect because they truly do not believe that they're worthy of love and they truly do not believe that they're worthy of your love and so they kind of go out of their way to make you feel bad anytime you're around them and it's not against you this is really a reflection that this person does not believe that they're worthy of receiving your love and so their emotional ego goes out and causes chaos it not only causes chaos it will cause disconnect and discord between the two of you to keep that belief that they're not worthy of your love because they don't feel worthy of their own love they don't feel worthy of any kind of love and so this person could very well be a hoarder um that's definitely something that came through and if they're not a hoarder of the physical type of things they're a hoarder of those spiritual things so they keep everything to themselves the emotional the spiritual and everything and then when you bring up anything spiritual to them they definitely make sure that you feel bad about it okay uh, interesting thing with this uh, this person is connecting with somebody currently and they can only speak about this person they can only talk about this person it's somebody of the opposite sex and they can only have any good thing to say about this person that they're with and the only reason that they are is because this person is a direct reflection of them so this person is also in a situation where they're trying to keep a facade going about their uh themselves they want to wear a mask they do not want people to see the true them and so they found each other like two peas in a pod and they are happy being with each other and there's nothing that you can do to convince this person to see the true side of you there's nothing that you can do to convince this person that you do care because i do feel like you care but in the end of the day you're a third wheel that has caused some sort of issue in their life and they use you as a crutch to make other people feel bad do not take this personally Okay, I bring this up because Source wants to point out how badly hurt this person is and how much it is more important to them to wear a mask than it is to embark on the journey to deal with the hurt and the pain that's going on within them. So because they put a price and a value on the band in their pocket and all the material items that they have in their life, this means that somebody treated them this way in the past and they're just repeating that 
and there's no way that they know how to heal because nobody has taught them how to embrace their emotional side. The only thing that they know how to do is to make other people feel bad for them. So it's like, you don't understand what I'm going through. You've never been through the same thing that I have. You wouldn't understand how hurt I am. You wouldn't understand the, the suffering that I've gone through. In fact, in this time, they're putting it on to you that they're in such a bad jam that they need you to support them uh, monetary-wise. And really, at the end of the day, they, they don't need that. I'm just telling you so. If they've asked you for money this is something you don't need to feel guilty about. You don't need to feel bad about saying no to them. You don't need to feel bad about them being the way that they are because they're still going out and enjoying the fruits of life, okay? They're going out and making sure they're eating at the best restaurants. They're going out and making sure they're staying at the best hotels. They're going out and making sure that they're enjoying their life the way that they want to. And they're that what they want is money from you or monetary gain from you so that they can even make that even better than what they think it is and it's really not better because they're not trying to make memories they're just trying to show off okay so with that being said what the real reason of why you need not worry about this is because they're about to go and travel somewhere and in this place that they're about to embark on there is going to be a ghost of the past that arises and causes some kind of upset in their life whether this is a physical entity from the ether that can manifest and attach itself to them and in other words not like a demonic possession but this would be like a a soul attachment if this is a soul attachment, that could be, or this could be an actual person from the past that comes in and ends up unveiling the truth of this person to this other individual that they're living this lie with, okay? And this is not for you to be around to see the karma. You have to believe that no matter what, at the end of the day, that this person will get the intentions that they put out into the universe because the universe only speaks in intentions. Plus, Source wants you to know that to help ease your hurt and your pain, to send prayers to this person of may they find peace, may they find harmony, and may they find above all else true understanding of the world around them. Because I don't feel like you guys are very materialistic in any one way, shape, or form. And this is something that continues. It's a repeat theme. And so I feel like this is a very heavy topic for people. Because I feel like there are some of you guys that have embarked on the journey. And it's been on realizing through this journey that the monetary things in life come only after you find peace and happiness and harmony. And you've been disowned by some people close to you and so this is just a reminder to you that they will not get what's coming to them but they'll have to face their own atonement and their I think that's right their own judgment right they'll have to face that they will have to face the situation that they put put out there and you're a spiritual warrior and because Source chose you to come down to help raise the vibration of the, the world, there's a certain protection that surrounds you that when that tries to become penetrated by this person or they try to uproot you from your peace, that reverberates back to them tenfold, okay? So continue to pray for this person because that's what's going to put you in a higher state of mind. That's what's going to bring you into a state of acceptance. And just understanding that there's not anything that you can do to, to save this person from themselves. There's not anything you can do to convince this person of how beautiful you are. And there's nothing else that you can do to really assist them on their journey because they have their own lessons to learn. And that is not with you by their side. And if I'm the first one breaking this news to you, I apologize. But you have something so wonderful to create and to bring to the world that you need to focus on yourself in this time and not focus on trying to bring those along with you who are dragging you down. Okay?
So that's what I have for you. Please like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel down below, set that notification bell so you always know when the next video does go live. And with that being said, until next time, go forth boldly, my fellow creators, and courageously find creative ways to rise above in life, laughter, and love. Until we meet each other again. Peace out. I love y'all. Bye.